this is kind of a lost art and that's playing with the snare drum only it really makes a big difference and you'll see a lot of beginners out there when they go to play a song they'll just maybe look up the chords on the internet or they're used to their you know open strumming they're like i can't figure out how to make this sound good well a lot of the stuff that came out of Stax records and motown the the guitar player was really he was thinking like a drummer okay so what you want to do is similar to the reggae where you're creating space and playing the space intentionally leaving the space there you're going to do the same thing but this is actually probably easier you just got to play with the snare drum and make sure that it really feels like it's in the pocket let me show you what i'm talking about this would be like a any kind of motown sound Stax records r&b Marin Morris, My Church. We'll go through a few of those. So here's the drummer. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Your job is to play in two and four with the snare drum. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do I need to play the entire bar chord? Probably not. I want you to do it because we're gonna reinforce those shapes. If you get pretty good and you're like, you know what, right? If since we're just playing the top four strings, I'm gonna use my little four string version of that same chord and just make sure I'm not getting these low strings ringing. That works too. You're only hitting the top four strings. One, three, one. So I got a clean guitar sound, my amp super clean, and then I have just a little bit of reverb. And that's working good. So you hear the echoes in there a little bit, but it's kind of percussive, which really sets the groove off, which is what you want. Now, um, not a lot of intermediate guitar players are talking about this, but you should definitely start thinking about the rhythms and the groove where at the stage you're at, because it's just gonna make you so much better. You don't want to be one of these guys who can play all the scales and all that stuff, but can't play a song. No, we're going to build you up everywhere. You're going to be well-rounded and you're going to be a contribution to every band you play in. Let's do it. So like, Ain't Too Proud to Beg would be something like this. Okay, so I'm going to play, that's in the key of C. So I would play my C chord here. And then it goes up to F. I could go down to the low F. Or I could go all the way to the 13th fret. That might be a bit of a challenge if you're just learning these bar chords. The frets are so close together there. I'm gonna go down to the, the low F. So I got C, I'm gonna use the same shape and just move it down. It's about the rhythm, not about being fancy. Eighth fret to the first fret with my six string bar chord shape. drums too if you never thought about it but that usually the backbeat the thing that makes rock and roll happen that makes swing happen that makes these old soul songs happen it's that backbeat it's a snare drum on two and four that's what gives it its signature sound that we all love that makes us move um it could be a my girl i guess What I was doing was C, D minor, F, and G. C, five string bar chord. D minor, five string bar chord. Six string F, six string G. If it seems like I'm really driving home these bar chords, it's because I am. I want you to have no thoughts about it. You just can do it without thinking. You see a chord chart and you boom, bar chord, no problem. Very good. Um, Let's just go through. I'll do it on C, D minor, F, and G. And that'll be our exercise for this song. So this is very slow. And we're going to play on two and four. 
counting the beats in our head that we're not playing. One, two, three, four, one. Snare drum, three, four, one. D minor, F, G. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a brain teaser here because your the chord is happening on beat one, but you're not playing, so you still have to be aware of it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's what's happening. The bass player is on one, but you got to be on the two and four. One. Moving between those four bar, bar chords might be a bit of a challenge at this stage. If you can't do it like that, just do one chord. That's all right. We're working on the rhythm, and your bar chords will start to get effortless. Two, three, four, one, two, three. Do my ain't too proud to beg. Six string C, six string F. Ain't too proud to beg. Sweet darling. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Same as the reggae strums, when I'm not playing, I'm releasing the pressure. If you'd see it on the video, but I'm not holding that bad boy down. No way. It's the releasing that's stopping the sound. Another one that was on the radio not too long ago was uh, "My Church" by Marin Morris. They're using that old school soul vibe in the in that song. Um, Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get an amen? Feels like the Holy Ghost run through you when I play the highway FM. If you listen to the record, you'll hear it. You're like, oh wow, I never noticed that. The electric guitar is playing only with the snare drum. Give it a try. It's not gonna work every time, but it works so many, like so often, okay? It just really makes the song sound good. Great for when you don't know what to play. So you're like, ah, oh, there's already some guitar players playing the strummy strum thing. What am I gonna do? Well, something very musical you can do is to play on the backbeat. All right. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next lesson.